Zach Chapel, welcome to a moment with Mull, I think it's called. <laughs> Fabulous, looks like. We've had a few moments together over the last six weeks. We have actually, it's been very enjoyable. Signed for Knox from Leicester, obviously you had a great time at Leicester. Um, what, why did the move come about? What what made you move and why Knox in the end? Because I believe you had a little bit of interest. Uh, yeah, um, well, there was a few factors really. Um, for example, test match ground. Yeah. Um, it's also a test match wicket, so I think it prepares you better for international cricket. Uh, and then obviously a big pull was Peter Moores, Franksy and Picky. I don't think there's a better three coaches really on the circuit. Uh, obviously it's reasonably close to where I live. Yep. And, uh, playing under you, Stephen, was a pleasure in Barbados a couple oh, of years you, for the games that you did pick me. And, uh, game. Game, yeah, game. Yeah. Thank it's you, Stephen. <laughs> uh, so yeah, they were the main, uh, major pulls. Uh, but yeah, no, it's been exciting for the winter that I've had here and I've really enjoyed it. So obviously, as you said, Test Match ground, International players, was that a pull? Obviously, I think you've spoken oh, yeah. to Stu a few times. And... Definitely. To be fair, uh, Broadie was really good to me. He, um, he's kind of, not taking me under his wing, but he was he was instrumental in the move. Like, he, he invited me around for coffee and stuff, and we just spoke things cricket and life, really. Um, and he didn't have to do that, so that was nice of him. Um, and he's kept in contact since, which is good. So, uh, yeah, people like Stuart and Bawley and, and more experienced players is always handy to pick their brains off. So yeah, that was another factor really in the, in the move. Yeah, obviously you've got you know huge international ambitions to play, obviously for England. Um, do you see sort of similarities in yourself and Brody? As in, you know, he started at Leicester as well, got the opportunity to move to Notts. Probably he was already in the England setup with playing a few one days, I think, or, and Test matches before he joined Notts. But obviously he's you know someone who's done it. So to have someone like that to speak to about, you know, obviously you want to get in, play for Notts and do well for Notts, but looking towards the future do you think that that has you know you see similarities yeah definitely I think I think I'm the only player not to well obviously I'm still young the only player to come from Leicester to go to Notts to not play for England so. that's correct I was going to bring that up yes so that is something that I would aspire to do uh, Mr Gurney Mr Broad and Taylor. Mr Taylor yeah Titch. Uh, so yeah I've obviously got ambitions to play and um, yeah a similar kind of build to Broadly really quite tall and wiry um, <laughs> So yeah, no, it, he, he's been an instrumental part of my move and I do look up to him as a bowler. Uh, I think we're different kinds of bowlers, but we're quite similar in terms of height and build and pace, so yeah. I think from my point of view as captain and the coach's point of view, the way that you committed straight away, you looked for a house straight away. Yeah. Um, I think it was important to settle in nice and early, really. I wanted to kind of get my foundations down before the season started. Yeah. Um, at Leicester, we actually got given houses, which was very useful. But I think the time's come for me to maybe not live in a house of four blokes, kind of just like maybe a little bit, like it's a bit mature, isn't it? Living on your own or with one other person. So, yeah. uh, getting a house, growing up a little bit, uh, and then kind of like it's a stepping stone, isn't it? So, I wanted to make everything right.